Well, hello everybody and welcome to My Cooking Nook. I'm Christine Deaton and welcome to Fed Up. Fast, easy, and delicious. Right here in my kitchen. So today, we got a great menu for you. How many people out there like breakfast for dinner? Woohoo! Hey, we got, some, I got my mom and my daughters here today and they raised their hand because we all love breakfast for dinner. But in this case, you can do breakfast for breakfast, breakfast for lunch, or breakfast for dinner. It's fast, it's easy, and it's delicious. Now today we're going to start with our dessert because the dessert uh, is pretty awesome and it's kind of keeping the theme of breakfast. So what I decided to do today are chocolate banana muffins. Okay, mm -hmm. what a nice dessert to go with a breakfast dish. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take my three bananas. You need three pretty ripe bananas because we are going to mash them. Okay, we're going to put them in the bowl. We're going to mash them like crazy. And then we're going to add chocolate cake. And then we're going to add two eggs. And that is going to be the whole batter for our chocolate banana muffins. All right, you know what that is? Clean as you go. <laughs> so how's everybody doing out there today? I hope everybody's doing well. Now, you know, tools in the kitchen. Use your, use your little, uh, what do you call this thing? Whisk? <laughs> whisk? Use your whisk <laughs> to mash your banana. I mean, you don't need to have lots of different tools because you know what? The more, the less you use, the less you have to clean. Yeah. So you might as well use what you got because we're going to mix the whole cake with my whisk. And so um, just use the whisk to do all the jobs today. Look at that. See? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I won't mash it to where it's completely like liquidy. I don't want that because I want to taste the banana, like a little chunk of banana as I eat the muffin. So this is about the perfect consistency that I want. Em, can you get that? Mm -hmm. Today on camera, I have my daughter, Emily, who you've seen help me here in the kitchen. Would you go around? There's my Hello. mom over there, Fran. We've got Mima. Hi. Hi, everybody. And Elizabeth helping out and today. Elizabeth's on the phone, so if you have questions or comments, she's gonna talk to you, let me know what you're saying. And so, okay, so come on over here, Em. Here we're doing our chocolate cake. Okay, and I'm going to kind of sort of mix that in a little. Okay, kind of incorporate a little bit. Okay, there we go. And then we got two eggs. That sounds delicious. Doesn't that sound mm -hmm. good? Yeah, it is. You know, in Disneyland, we're big Disney fans in the family, and in Disneyland they have frozen bananas. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they are delicious. And this is kind of a take on that because it's going to be um, you know, all those, uh, the banana and the chocolate flavors together are mm. to die for. Well, Disneyland has these frozen chocolate covered bananas and oh my goodness, they are so, so, so good. So this is kind of a take on not only breakfast, but on a, li a little bit of our Disney stuff in the family. Okay. That's what we got. That's what we got going on here. So now I'm just going to mix this up. Okay. And it's looking great nice batter okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put it in my muffin cups it's kind of a thick batter that's exactly what you want okay be great with coffee delicious with coffee as a matter of fact if you swing back to the table em yes i will you see that my drink today is good old coffee because by golly coffee is the best drink for me for breakfast you guys agree with that i don't yeah. know yes, yes. you know a lot of people drink juice and all that stuff and there's nothing wrong with that but i'm kind of a coffee drinker not not uh, <laughs> you know with me with my dietary uh confinements or whatever you want to call it limitations um i have to do things differently so i don't drink any coffee you know f full leaded i do the half half calf and it works very well for me all right, so we're going to load these little biscuit, uh, bis did I say biscuit, muffin, <laughs> muffin pan, muffin, you know what I did? I didn't want to have to worry about, because everything's fast, easy, and delicious, so I didn't want to have to worry about greasing all the muffins, the muffin pan and everything, so I just used my little, little paper muffin holder here thing, okay? Much easier, 
And then you know what cleanup is? The cleanup is when you eat your muffin, you throw the paper out. <laughs> There's your cleanup. Perfect. It is perfect. That's right, right? So, and you oh, know, yeah. and then, and it, it just like, like that's like what I was talking about is cleaning up. Well, and when you're doing things fast, easy, and delicious, fast and easy is a huge part of that. And this is when you use the, the, the muffin um, papers, it makes it so much easier for cleanup. Okay, look at this. Aren't these looking awesome? Yeah, they look really good. Ooh, look, look at that. I can't of wait. And I said, yeah, I, <laughs> I've got the pieces of banana in there. Now, you can, if you choose not to have the chunks of banana, oh, I love you know, you can keep mashing the bananas until they're like a puree almost. No but no, I want to taste those big chunks of banana in there, okay? Absolutely. And I'm probably going to get just 12 out of this batter, all right? And then once... I get these all filled. I am putting it in the oven. The, I have a preheated oven, 350 degrees. And um, these will take uh, probably about 14 minutes or so. So once I get them in the oven, I'll put the timer on. They're probably pretty dense, I would assume, because it yeah, doesn't have they, like yes. Yes. a lot of liquid in it. Yeah, they are, they are dense. You can, actually, you can see that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe the little pieces right here because I don't want a mess, as I always say. <laughs> no mess. I'm kind of a stickler about that because it just helps so much for cleanup later. I know, I think I probably got it from you, Mom, the way you clean as you go in the kitchen, you know? <laughs> All right. There's our beautiful muffins. Oh, Yay. Going in the oven. Can't wait. I'm going to yeah, put them on the, on the middle yes. pan. I'm going to put the timer on for 14 minutes, and then we'll have a delicious, it looks delicious. delicious muffin. Okay, there they go. All right, let's work on our main dish, okay? So what are we doing today? We're doing breakfast burritos. Now, I always try to cut corners and cut time in the kitchen. So what did I do? You know, when you make an egg for a burrito, um, you can, if you have stuff in your refrigerator, you, you can have bell pepper and onion and uh, asparagus or whatever you had left mm -hmm. over. Any kind of veggies that you spinach. have. Spinach. Spinach. Anything like that can go into eggs. Eggs is yeah. kind of one of those great foods that you can I'm add. Sure if you have them. hot dogs, bologna, ham, anything like that, you can add to eggs. So what did I get? I got my, you know why I love O'Brien potatoes? Because it already has onion and bell pepper. It's got red and green bell pepper and onion already there. So when you're trying to save time in the kitchen, get some O'Brien potatoes. It's all done for you and you've got your veggies, okay? We have Riedel, Harlan, and Carol Boyer, and everybody's saying hello. Hello, everybody. I'm glad you're joining me today for my breakfast. Oh, breakfast burritos, one of my favorites. You'll see me cook a lot with tortillas because I, I just love Mexican-type food, and burritos are like one of my favorite things in the world. And inside a tortilla, you can put just about anything. Mm -hmm. That's great. So I'm letting my oil heat up, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cook my potatoes. So here's another trick for making it fast, easy and delicious, is these were frozen O'Brien potatoes that I put in the microwave for about two minutes. So these are par cooked, more on the other side of cooked, okay? Because you don't want it to take a lot of time. I've got about two and a half cups of the potatoes in there right now, okay? And we're going to let these babies cook. Now, I don't use a lot of salt in my food. As you guys know, I have Meniere's disease, which is why this whole show started to begin with. You can't have a lot of salt. It retains water, and it makes your equilibrium worse, if that's, if that's possible. But that's what happens. It, it, um, it, makes, it really throws us off even more. So I try to limit my salt, okay? But for eggs and stuff like that, you do need a little, and look at my sprinkle. Very small, okay? Just a tiny sprinkle of salt, just, just to give it a little, a little bit of flavor. You can add garlic salt if you want in this. For breakfast, I don't particularly like a garlic flavor, mm -hmm. but if you do breakfast for dinner, which this is kind of what this is today, you can add garlic salt. 
with the garlic salt, you can get a um, low sodium garlic salt. Let me show you my, my garlic salt mix, okay? And I have the Lowry's uh, garlic salt, 25% less sodium. You know what, while we're doing dinner, there's my sprinkle of garlic. Okay, <laughs> since I have it out, we'll use it, okay? All right, this has got to cook for a few minutes. So while this is cooking, can you already smell that? I mean, mm -hmm. already, just potatoes and bell pepper and onion smelling delicious in my kitchen already. I'm going to start cracking the eggs. Let me tell you, this is a very fast, very fast meal. And I decided that one of the things that I absolutely love breakfast time is I love white gravy. Now, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, okay? And um, the first 16 years of my life. And, you know, back east, I, I, we didn't hear a whole lot about white gravy, did we, Mom? Yeah. Like, you just, that's just not something. Hey, listen, my egg, I wanted to show you a trick, by the way. My egg shell just went in the bowl. So you use the egg shell to get it out, and it's almost like it migrates back to what it was, and it, it popped right back in. So use your egg shell to get out egg shells. He said, I'm home. It works, yes. It works every time, guys and girls. Today I'm going to be using about eight eggs. Anyway, the white gravy was not a big culinary thing back east. We never had it. So when we moved out to Arizona in 1975, um, biscuits and gravy, white gravy was like the thing. You go to breakfast, mm -hmm. you get biscuits and gravy. You get white gravy on your egg. You get white gravy on, you can, even at night, you know, um, what was the chicken, chicken fried, fried steak. steak with white gravy. <laughs> so it became kind of a staple in my house. I mean, this stuff is delicious. What is this stuff? <laughs> so today I thought, what a nice accent, what a nice dip for my breakfast burrito to have white gravy for my side to dip my potato and egg burrito. Delicious. Like I said, I didn't grow up with white gravy, but I, 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 we didn't hear about it, no. but I lost 16 years of white gravy. That's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> so those of you in New York, if you haven't had white gravy, watch me in a few minutes you'll get to see how quick and easy fast easy and delicious white gravy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so i'm going to turn this down for a little bit and i'm going to let the potatoes cook more i am going to scramble my eggs i always put a little bit of water some people put milk some people don't put anything i put a little bit of water okay um and i do that only because I don't like super thick eggs. I like them a little thinner to cover all of the potatoes, okay? So here's my eggs, eight eggs today. You can add 10 eggs, 12 eggs, whatever you wanna do. If you want it more eggy, you add more eggs. If you have a lot more people to feed, add more eggs, okay? Eggs are pretty inexpensive, especially right now Easter's coming up. Eggs are gonna be like, the poor chickens are, <laughs> just cranking them out because <laughs> it's Easter time <laughs> anyway okay so there's my scrambled eggs I'm not going to put that in at this point I'm going to let my potatoes cook they look great they're smelling great okay and of course you know at the end of when I put my burritos together you know I'm going to crisp them up right because any of you who have been watching the show which there's been lots and lots and lots and there's tons of people watching the show. How exciting. You know that I like burritos, but I like my crispy. We had a question a couple of weeks ago. What is a chimichanga? Chimichanga is when you deep fry burritos, okay? Like literally in a pot of grease and you immerse it in the grease and it cooks. That's a chimmy, okay? But I don't want my burrito to be a chimmy. I like that. I just want it to be crispy on the outside. So that's what I am going to do today. After I get all my burritos, all my tortillas filled with everything, with all my great ingredients, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna crisp them up a little bit. All right, let's start on the gravy. Okay. One of my favorite parts. Okay, so 
you don't want a high heat because you don't want, you're going to start with butter. And I tell you, the Blue Bonnet has a great flavor. Um, and use a whole stick, okay? We're going to eat, well, no, you know what? I'm going to start with a half because I'm not going to make a giant batch. If I were going to make a huge, should I make a giant batch? Yes. <laughs> yeah, because okay, then we can. we're going to make a giant batch. I was going to make a half a batch, but we've got a lot of people who are going to probably want the burritos, especially Sebastian, oh, my yeah. nephew. You're already at the three. So, okay, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make a full batch of, of the gravy. So I'm going to use a whole stick, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to heat that up, and I'm going to put, this is eight tablespoons of butter that I'm going to melt on a lower heat, like a six or seven on your dial, okay? And then, this is called a white pepper gravy. Does that mean white pepper's in there? No, no, no. It means it's a white gravy with pepper, okay? The pepper <coughs> flavors the gravy. Now, here's the thing about white gravy. If you were, if I were making bacon, if I were making bacon, that's a tongue twister. Making, 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 making. If making. I were making bacon. bacon. <laughs> Holy moly. I would cook the bacon and I would make it pretty crisp, okay? But save the grease. Instead of the butter, mm -hmm. you would use the bacon grease. Or, like, or sausage grease. Or, or yes, sausage. what I was going to say. Or you can make breakfast sausage, take the sausage out. Use the sausage grease for your base for the white sauce, okay? Um, then, then, woohoo! Then you cut up the bacon or you cut up the sausage and you add it to your gravy. Mm -hmm. okay? Mary, happy to Hey, everyone. Hey, Mary, hey, how Mary. are you, girl? Let's see how this is coming. My pan is heating up and I'm going to put my butter. Ooh, those potatoes are looking nice. All right, all right. It's heated up. Let's put our butter in there. Okay. Anyway, yeah, you can make the, most of the time, biscuits and gravy are probably a sausage-based mm -hmm. gravy. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's kind of the, the, the common white gravy yeah. for biscuits and gravy. Mm -hmm. If you go to Cracker Barrel or you go to most restaurants and you get biscuits and gravy, it's going to be a sausage-based based yeah. gravy. Okay. In Christine's Kitchen, it's a nothing-based gravy. It's a butter-based gravy because I can't have all those. I say, Mom can't eat pork or beef, so... No, I, and now, actually, I could use turkey, turkey bacon, bacon. But the problem with that is you don't get a lot of fat from yeah. turkey bacon, so it's almost like, you know, it's almost like a, a, a mute, mute issue to make turkey bacon with this. You can. You can do it. Uh, it just doesn't, it just really doesn't, it doesn't give you a lot of grease, so the flavor is not going to be much different. Okay? So here I go, I'm melting my butter. And so how do you start a gravy? You, you, you need a roux. Does everybody know what a roux is? I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? She's on the Golden Girls? <laughs> oh, Rue, yeah. <laughs> yes. Rue McClanahan. <laughs> well, a Rue is flour and butter, some kind of an oil base, grease base. Um, you put it together and make like a, um, well, how would you describe it? It's, it's like, like a, a paste almost. It's, it's a it like paste. creates a paste. Yeah, it's kind of a paste. You want that kind of a thick paste. And then as you add your, your milk, you keep whisking and whisking and whisking, and then it turns into this nice thick. That's what gives it the thickness of the gravy, and it makes it absolutely amazing. All right, so Emily, if you can see in here, my mm -hmm. butter is just about completely melted. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's going to make a lot gravy. of gravy. Bobby leaves the sausage in the pan and puts flour... In the pan? Uh -huh. really? Oh yeah, I've done it. I've done it well, like that too. I mean, I could. You can do that. Yeah, you can do that. It just seems that it's. Um, you need the meat out of the way, and I. For me, you need the meat out of the way because it's hard to whisk with meat, big chunks of meat, right? So you take the meat out. You do all your whisking because there's a lot that goes with this, okay? And then you cut the meat up. And, and then you put it in, in, and then you throw it back in. Okay. Grandpa's so, favorite was the bacon. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I prefer bacon okay, gravy. Okay, so I'm going to start with my flour, okay? And I'm going to start whisking the flour. And if you can see this, mm -hmm. can you see I can this? see it. Okay. So, and you can see how thick it's getting already, right? Look at that. There's your roux. 
Like literally, there's your there's your basis for your gravy. Okay, and the thing is, you want to turn this down at this point because you do not want to burn the butter. Mm -hmm. If you burn the butter or the grease or whatever, uh, yeah, your 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 gravy is is going to taste burnt. Okay, so it has to be a very blank canvas. Your roux has to be seriously uh, cooked at a very low temperature for a little while. You're going to stir it around and make sure that flour and the butter is cooked through. Okay, I'm going to add a tiny bit more of the flour. I like my, my roux pretty thick because as I add the milk, um, I'm going to try to get a lot out of this batch. Mm -hmm. okay? All right, Rue is looking very, very good. What do you think, Mom? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Very good. All right. I cook the flour. Okay. Hey, you know what that means? Could my muffins be done? I'm going to check those in a minute. I'll leave them in another second. Okay, so now I'm going to start pouring some milk. Now, I put two cups of milk in here, but, you know, we'll see. We're going to see if we need two cups of milk. We probably will with all this mm -hmm. room. Oh yeah. Okay. And I may even need more. Now as you, I want you to see this. Yeah. As I do this, okay, it almost is like the, the roux expands. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need lots and lots and lots of milk. Okay. So we just keep incorporating. Just keep incorporating. How are my potatoes doing over there? Oh, good. Yeah, I'm okay. just about ready for turn eggs. Those down. Turn them way down. Okay. Because they're done. Okay. Look at that. It's turning. It's starting to turn that beautiful white. Okay. Look at that. Gorgeous sauce. Okay. And you just keep doing that. You do it little by little. Okay. Look at that, Mom. Perfect. Beautiful. And you just keep incorporating your milk. Okay, it's nice and thick right now. Now the thing is, as it sits here and it and it heats through. Okay, that's good. Hey, I got a I got a a, a cameraman slash assistant <laughs> in the kitchen. That's cool. Wonder how many shows have that. I can do it all. Woo! -hoo. Okay, this is looking great. I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes, and it's going to start to bubble. Okay, you don't want a full simmer. You you just want it to bubble simmer. You don't want a full boil, forget it, your, your sauce will be wrong. Okay? I'm gonna check my muffins. Because, you. Holy cow, could they be done already? I don't know. I'm gonna. Hey, look, look, look. I just want you guys to see that. I'm gonna leave them a yeah, few more minutes. Yeah, leave yep. them a couple more minutes, but yep. they look Three, good. We moved out About here. four more minutes on that. Uh huh. Yeah. We moved out here and I, I had to get a job. I work in this place. Well, move to Arizona. Yeah. 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 Oh, Arizona. Yeah. So Here we are. We're in Missouri. <laughs> and um, this very sweet lady said to me, gave me a job, and she said, our main dish is biscuits and gravy. And I said, you have biscuits with brown gravy for breakfast? And she said, no, white gravy. I said, what on earth is that? And she taught me. Yes. How to do it. I had never even heard of it. Her I thought they were going to have biscuits ranch. with brown gravy for breakfast. That's so strange. I had never heard of it. I did not know never, that. Never. And Mrs. Durant. Yeah. I mean, she taught me. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, we, we, we literally, listen, you know, wherever you grow up, you have cultural food and you have, you know, your the, the food of your area. And so in New York, I mean, this is a very south, I mean, like a southwestern, uh, yeah. midwest yeah. dish, yeah. okay? Not so much in the no, New England not states. At all. Not at all. Not so much. And so, hey, look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to add more milk, yep. of course. You keep, it's a process, guys and girls. It's a process. You have to do it little by little. Now, when does the pepper come in? When the sauce is done? I'm not going to add any salt or, or the black pepper until the sauce is, is done, okay? And we're just going to keep adding the milk. It hasn't come to a simmer yet, so it's not ready, okay? 
but the sauce is beautiful. Can you guys see that? Yeah, it's beautiful. beautiful, beautiful sauce. Beautiful. I love it. Now, if if I had burned the butter, this would be a brownish, goldish color, and it would be okay. You know what you do at that point? You start again. Yeah. <laughs> because you, 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 here, look at this. Okay, yep. it's starting to simmer. Okay, which is great. But what happens when it simmers is it thickens it. Yeah. Okay. So what do we do? We add more milk. Yeah, that's gonna make a lot of gravy. Yeah. We add which more is milk. Great. Which is great. Right? <laughs> that's another one of those you can't have enough. You can't have too much of the gravy. Mm -mm. Ooh, that's a pretty, pretty gravy. And it's delicious on the eggs too. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Because we're doing a burrito, the eggs are gonna be inside, but if you just had scrambled eggs or even a, like a sunny side up or an over easy, whatever, and just put the, this, this gravy right over that, woo, it's perfect. So, and just a reminder, this 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 morning is, a, or this afternoon rather, is a meat-free breakfast. Yes. But you can use all kinds of meats for breakfast burritos oh, or yeah. in your gravy. And you, like I said, you can, in the burrito, you can do bacon, you can do ham, you can do hot dogs, you can do, a lot of people, like my brother Mark, he loves hot dogs and eggs. Yeah. Uh, you can do bologna, whatever kind of meat you like. If you have leftover chicken, if you have leftover pork chops, you can chop all that up and throw it in your burrito. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's delicious. Yep. It's one of those blank slate yeah. meals. It's very, you can add very you versatile want. meal that you can dress up or dress down. Yep. I dress everything down because <laughs> I am a very boring eater because literally I have so many food allergies that I know what I can eat now and what I can do. But that doesn't mean you can't add uh, just whatever you want to add to your food, okay? I just give you the basis of what I'm doing and you can add, 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 add. Hey guys, that's my, uh, my muffins. Let's see how they're doing. Oh, they look wonderful. Mm. Still a couple minutes. Yeah, I was gonna say they're super. They're dense, so thick so. and big, but they look amazing. Yeah, they do. Delicious. Okay, this is simmering, and I can tell you're ready. We're gonna have to add more milk. <laughs> you really do get a lot when you start with a whole stick of butter. You get a lot of roux. Yeah. And the roux thickens and thickens and thickens, and then you can get a lot of sauce so. but this that's great for if you're having like a big brunch or oh, yeah. you know having a bunch of people over or um like in this case elizabeth will probably take some home and Mima will probably take some home and Absolutely. so Absolutely. you can <laughs> share share and <laughs> well elizabeth's husband already put in his order sebastian's already put in his order <laughs> and I make, i'm having breakfast <laughs> What I should do is for local people, we should just say, okay, today's burritos are on sale for whatever and mm -hmm. deliver. That, you know, that's how that's how Paula Dean got started. Really? She she had it was just she she um, all of a sudden was a single mom and had two boys to raise, and she said the only thing that she really knew how to do was cook, and so she um, started making lunches out mm. of her home. That's yeah. awesome. And it just went crazy and then uh, before she knew it like whole office buildings were ordering breakfast and or lunch i mean lunch or whatever and and it turned into paula dean <laughs> and she's here in branson too with her big old restaurant now that's awesome so that's that's how she got started so you know you never know where things like this are going to take you we, we as a matter of fact our family has catered Many, many, oh, many, yeah. many things. I mean, we've owned two many restaurants and stuff. And we've owned three restaurants, actually. And um, we did tons of catering out of those restaurants. And so, it, you know, it wouldn't it wouldn't be a far stretch for us to say, sure, we can make these bre breakfast burritos. Who wants them? And then there you go. Okay. Well, and, and in Arizona, especially Casa Grande, where we're from, right. um, because um, there's a lot of, like, Hispanic um, lifestyle out there uh -huh. they set up these little booths on the corners yeah. of the streets right. and they mm -hmm. they do they sell burritos they sell tamales uh, and you can just walk up to these little stands and yeah. buy burritos and 
It's awesome. And they're authentic. I mean, they're they're making. Oh yeah, little, they're making the tortillas, the tortillas and they make the. Uh, oh, they're uh, so the, the, good. The fry breads, the fry breads. Yeah. The fry breads are delicious. Yeah. Okay, I just put some salt in there. Okay, mm -hmm. not very much. And now I'm going to do my pepper. Pepper. Okay. You have to have pepper in the gravy. Look at that. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks amazing. It is amazing. Can you guys all see that from out there? Okay. And it's beautiful. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to let that simmer. Okay. I'm going to let it simmer. And I am going to come back to it in a little bit. We, we probably would have to finish up the milk that I've got in the yeah. in my little container there. And um, look at these. Oh, yeah, hello. Those look awesome. Oh, my gosh. My cup. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mom, would you like a muffin right away? Absolutely. With your coffee? You need a refill on coffee? Yeah, I'm good. All, All right. right. I'm going to give Mom and Elizabeth a oh, cupcake. Yeah, yeah. A muffin. Well, they are like cupcakes. They, 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 they're, they're muffins. They're, right. They're they can breakfast muffins, but it's a cupcake. <laughs> it's a chocolate <laughs> banana cupcake. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's it's got a healthy item in it, so... <laughs> It's, we'll it's consider that, it I breakfast. Think that's how it comes, it comes a muffin. <laughs> it's got good stuff in it. Okay, I'm gonna let this simmer. I've got it on like two and a half, three, and that's that's a look at that. That's a beautiful, beautiful yeah, gravy. Looks right? very this good. Is wonderful. Is it good? Oh, Yay! Gosh. All right, we're gonna turn up the heat a little bit here on my uh, potatoes. Oh, you want to taste them? Uh, yeah, I'll take I'll take a bite in a minute. You can munch on it while you're <laughs> uh, while you're uh, taping me. <laughs> I'm gonna eat, okay. cook, and uh, record. Yeah, can you do all of that? Let's sure. See the yeah. If you want. That is delicious. Is it good? Oh my God. When you're a mom, you can do all can kinds do of stuff. That's true. <laughs> all right. I've already done my eggs. I've whipped my eggs. Okay, I'm letting it sizzle again. Okay. Oh my gosh. Stop. Are they good? They are so good. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Really good. Really good. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? Yeah, it's so good. This morning I was thinking, I was, I'm always thinking food, 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 and what do I do, and how do I do it, and stuff like that. And I just thought, you know, food is, cooking is an art. It is. It really is an art. And, you know, I don't know about you guys out there, but I've been to lots of places, and even restaurants that they didn't get that. You know, they just don't really get how to make food look beautiful, taste delicious, that kind of a thing. It really is an art. Mm -hmm. And so if, you, if you're creative and you like to cook, what an amazing thing to go in your kitchen, even look, my sister and I keep saying we're gonna have this, this contest because my sister's a chef and she and I owned restaurants and stuff. My mom and dad owned a restaurant. And we've, always, we've always often said, we need to just do this thing, like they do on some of the cooking shows, I believe. We just raid our pantry or raid our refrigerator, see what we have, and just make a meal. And that's like an artist who has a big blank canvas and all his paints are on the side, and then he just starts to paint, or she just starts to paint, and comes up with this beautiful yeah. product. Yeah. And that's what cooking is. You're the Bob Ross of the kitchen. I'm the Bob Ross of the kitchen. I better go. Oh, I did curls today, but maybe I need to get really curly. Yeah. I'm going to buy you a little fro. Instead of happy trees, happy trees. Okay, I'm putting my eggs in. Looking good there, everyone. Say that again. Christopher, looking good there. Hello, dear. My husband right now is in Arizona. Um, you can. I, I don't because that's not fast and easy and all that stuff. No, but tortillas I, are really tricky. They are. They are they're they're, they're not, so tricky. They're not as, you know, it's, it's lard, it's flour, it's water. But it's like the but perfect there's temperature. A, there's a process and to it, and it really is very talk about very an art. Like time consuming. Yes. When I was in high school, I took culinary arts, yeah. and that was one of the things we had to yeah. make and master were tortillas, yeah. and that was 
the hardest, the hardest thing for me to do. I did yeah. ganache and cakes and yeah. you know steaks and all kinds of, and tortillas were the hardest yeah. thing for me to do. They, they do. <laughs> I mean, it's like a three or four. Well, oh, you gotta add salt. There's like a three or four ingredient uh, uh, recipes Recipe. for tortillas. You, kind of, you have to knead it, just but like they're the very bread. hard. So yeah. Carol, yes, I can make tortillas, but who wants to? Yeah. But uh, <laughs> they're a lot of work. I don't want to, but we like tradition makes them. <laughs> but you know, I, I leave it up to the factories that that make them. And, well, and and thank goodness. And again, did. in Arizona, we had the privilege of having you can buy fresh tortillas yeah. from from. Like people the, on the corner or food my mother-in-law and her, you know my husband's family and stuff i mean it's it really is an art form and yes. so if you can get fresh tortillas from somewhere yes. for some from someone food you city. yeah food yeah. city is an awesome little um okay. while the eggs are cooking come on over here yep. i'm gonna add the rest of the milk to my beautiful gravy uh, awesome little grocery store my husband says miss you <laughs> We miss you too. It's weird here. <laughs> but I'll get to eat now. You're not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my mom actually gets to eat today. <laughs> I always do that. Okay. So there's my beautiful gravy, Emily. Just get a big yep. fat view of that. It's gorgeous. That I just put the awesome. rest of the milk in, so I'm still going to let that simmer. Let's see how my eggs are doing. They're looking beautiful. Remember that the O'Brien potatoes really helps you out in the kitchen because it's already got the bell pepper and the onion. It's got two kinds of bell pepper, the red mm -hmm. and the green bell pepper, and it's got onion in it. So you don't even have to prep any of that. It's all in it to save yourself time, okay? Fast, easy, and delicious. Fast. You, you heat the potatoes in your microwave for a couple of minutes before you do this because yep. it, it just cuts cooking time. That's what those gadgets are for, right? That's what a microwave is for, to help you in the kitchen and make things happen quicker. Okay, now, there's my filling. Does that not look beautiful? Mm -hmm. I already ate the whole cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. Well, I'm glad. Now, remember last time we did something with tortillas, I said, leave them out so that they're not hard. You don't want right. them to come out of the refrigerator. When you go to fold them, they're gonna break, okay? They're gonna crack. And you don't want a cracky tortilla. No. So, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is, well, I always put- Crack kills. Hello, I've got grandchildren here. Bye-bye, <laughs> Nicholas. <laughs> okay, so what I do is I've got my tortilla, okay? And I've got, yes, he's having a good old time today. Um, and I always put cheese on the bottom. Okay, you know why? Because I like cheese. I like cheese. Then I'm going to put some of my filling, okay, like that, okay, and you know, more cheese. Woohoo! Delicious. And let me show you how to fold them. It's very simple. It's you fold in two of the sides, and you just wrap it around like that, and you're done. Okay. So I'm going to get as many as I can out of this batch. Okay. Oh, and you know what? I just thought if you do it, if you put the cheese right over the pan, if some fall in, <laughs> there you go, you got extra cheese. Okay, perfect. So, okay, filling, cheese, fold the sides in, and just wrap it around. There you go. Cheese. Okay, we're going to get a few. We're going to get a lot of burritos here. Enough for you guys to, you know. I was say I don't know that's I don't know that Sebastian's gonna get three. No, he's not. Because we'll all probably eat one. Like one. <laughs> okay, more cheese. Okay, fold it. And there we go. And then of course you know that at the end, when this is all cleaned out, when I fill all the those tortillas with this, I'm going to put some more oil in here and crisp the outsides of the burrito. Well, you make it nice and packed, so that's. It's a nice mm -hmm. I will say that is one of one of the things that I miss about living in yeah. Casa Grande is uh, the breakfast burritos. It is oh, so yeah. hard to find <laughs> a good breakfast burrito. And my go-to in town was Nico's. Yes. Their breakfast burritos were the best. I don't so know, good. I don't know, honestly, if if breakfast burritos. Hi, Nick. How you doing, bud? <laughs> I don't know 
know that breakfast burritos are a thing in the Midwest. I, I don't mean, think they are. We're not, not, we're not here that. very, very long, so I'm not, I'm not really up on, and maybe somebody out there can tell us who lives here, if, if breakfast burritos are a thing out here. Well, when I first moved here, I was craving a breakfast burrito, and I had said to some kids I worked with, some, I say kids, but some people <laughs> I worked with, and they, uh, I said, where can I get a good breakfast burrito? And their suggestion to me was Taco Bell or Sonic. <laughs> and I was Sorry. like, oh, I like Taco Bell and Sonic. I do too. Fine. But, not but not, that's not what I meant. Like, I want like a good homemade <laughs> Mexican oh, breakfast goodness. burrito. Yeah, no, and I was no, like, no. okay, never mind. I'll just make them myself. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, good. You know what? This is about as perfect as it gets right here. The last one's going to have a little I bit of cheese. Nice too. <laughs> well, you know what? Because I'll tell you why I do that. Because oh, it looks you want, when you're when you're feeding a lot of people, you don't if you, you don't want to make that's another fast thing. You don't want to make 97 little burritos. I'd rather have one big fat oh, burrito yeah. that everybody can Great. eat. And you know, and then you, it, you're just saving yourself time in the kitchen. Okay, so look at that. I got a bunch. I got a bunch of burritos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. I'm gonna clean this out real quick. How you doing over here, Gravy? You good? Look at that. You know, you talk to your food. Like you talk to your plants, I talk to my food. I talk to my food too. Yeah. But you done I think yet, he's buddy? beautiful. You're beautiful, Gravy. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Good job. Okay. I'm going to throw this away. Oh, you know what? Clean as you go. Oh, no, you don't want to clean up there. And look, oh, he's, okay. he's talking back. So, he's talking back? Mm -hmm. What's he saying? Thank you. <laughs> you seen those videos where they, they add music to like a bubbling and it looks like they're singing? It's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so all I'm doing right now is I'm cleaning out all the little crumbs and stuff like that. Um, so and then I'm gonna put I'm gonna put um, some more oil in the bottom. I'm not kidding. Okay, there's oil, 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 oil. And you know you don't need a ton of it, but you need enough to just, just kind of immerse the burritos a little bit. All right, so here's my burritos. I'm gonna put my garlic away. Gravy's looking great. I'm gonna taste the gravy though before I serve it, it to make sure it doesn't need yeah. more pepper or a little bit more salt or whatever. For me, it always needs more salt. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I was like, I love you know, I like salt, saltier so. gravy. Yes. <laughs> And, and, and you know I, what? And There's nothing I'm wrong with that. Yeah, and I, I'm not a big pepper person. I, I can't. I. And I, I mean, obviously, to, you have to have that in gravy. You have to. Yes. Yeah. But. All right. So I'm gonna line my my little plate here for my cooked burritos right there. Just let them drain. I don't like soggy burritos. I don't like soggy anything. Like, no. It's gross. Okay. So let's put that in. You know, I've got some diced up avocado from last night hey, that I'm going to add to my burrito. On, yeah, you can put that out on the table. I'm going to add it to my burrito. All right, in a minute. so I have found, and you all know that I love my skillet, right? I do everything on my skillet. <laughs> Mom, you've been doing a lot of stuff oh, on your yeah, skillet. Everything. 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 I mean, everything. Like, like literally Mom cooked a whole bunch of raw or uncooked pinto beans. I oh believe, right? yeah! In this, and, and it came out perfectly. And fast. Yes. And fast. It's it's kind of crazy how how Fed up. this is, but they the, the skillet just just get one if you don't have them. They're eighteen bucks at Walmart. Oh, it, it and I would also everything. suggest that you look how pretty that looks, guys. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. gonna I'm gonna make mine new day tonight. I would also suggest that you get the round one. You see, I seem to get a lot more. I think that's what I got. Uh, did you? I, I think, think yeah. So. I think you did. Yeah. Look at these. Oh, <gasps> these are perfect. I'm gonna do my <laughs> breakfast tonight in there. What are you making? I'm, I'm, well, I had some diced ham in the freezer. Yeah. So I'm gonna put some diced ham, some bacon, yeah. cheese, delicious. And then I don't have any potatoes because then don't need peppers and all that stuff. So. I'm gonna get actually a little bit more milk mm -hmm. to finish this off. Okay, all those are I have, In fact, I have a big, big bag. If you want to put some here, 
Phyllis, you may have my boy. And then Jennifer dice it all up and it is so you don't have it again. Yeah, because it's a lot. It's too much for what I'm doing. These are done. It doesn't take long to crisp up the burritos. I rather okay. than crisp up. Right? I just yeah. yeah, I just I really, really prefer them. Oh yeah, them. absolutely. But again, like we said last time, you don't have to. If you like a nice salt right. tortilla, you can eat them. They're ready. Because I think my husband prefers, like Moses soft. prefers them soft. Yeah, I, I, I've got to have it crispy. Me too. I like it crispy. And, and of course, you know, as, as the oil gets hotter, you can turn it down a little bit. Watch them. It's going to go quick. Mm -hmm. Crisping up means literally this. And it took me uh, probably a minute, not even on each side. Okay. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. I'm going to add a little bit more milk. That's the thing with the gravy. You have to keep doing it. Keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. And if it sits here, if, like, if you don't use it all right away and it sits here, it'll probably get pretty thick. Just add more milk. Just add more milk. You can save it and then you add more Yep. I'm add a little bit more so we have even more than we got in there. Look at that. Beautiful gravy. these out. These are done. They are done. Perfect underneath. Oh, look at that. Love that color. Mm -hmm. Love the color. Love it, love it, love it. And guys, we're almost done. We're almost done. Got our dessert, which apparently are, they're good, right? Very good. Oh, good. Yeah, here's okay. the dessert. <laughs> oh my gosh, she really did eat the whole she thing. She really did eat the whole thing. Nima never eats anything. I'm serious, it's delicious. You never eat a whole of anything. I never do, but I sure ate that. The banana. Oh, well, I'm glad. The That's banana funny. Was perfect. Okay. All right, I'm going to taste the gravy. Okay, never double dip, guys and girls. Oh, yeah. You use a spoon and then get rid of it. Or, or some people, some cooks actually have plastic spoons on their counter. Oh, yeah. And then they just use it and throw it away. But Wonderful. Makes me do a happy dance. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah, I delicious. I'm going to go home and make gravy. <laughs> I'm going to make, I know, I already told them and they have oh, to. Oh, goodness, that's breakfast. delicious. Delicious. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fill up my little bowl right here with my gravy. Okay. And get lunch going. Okay. <laughs> You're used to the salad, right? <laughs> and honestly, I'm just using this to dip. So I don't need a lot. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. This, I'm just gonna, mm -hmm. delicious. Okay. It looks perfect. No and then, oh, I got my beautiful muffin, and I'm gonna put a burrito <laughs> on my plate. I'm gonna add some of the powdered sugar. Oh yeah. To your oh hello. I guess it helps if I. Do, do, do. Oh, that's beautiful. Get it on and the I've plate. I've got my coffee. I've got little oranges and grapes, and we're about ready to eat, folks. That looks awesome. Okay. And doing that, we are done. We are done. Okay, here's my burritos. Emily, take a shot of this, yes. if you will. They look awesome. Here's the burritos. Okay, I'm going to give yes. you guys a burrito. Elizabeth, I'm and you know what? I didn't throw yeah. my batter away earlier because I can still make a couple more muffins. Yeah. So I didn't throw it away. And so the lovely I'm plate going to give there. You guys a little plate here. For the burritos, okay. so that everybody can taste one. Yeah, I'll just take these because okay. I need a whole cup there. Oh, we can cut. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just have a burrito. Oh, it looks wonderful. Oh, they're delicious. Elizabeth, there you go. You guys have your burritos. And if you want some of the gravy, we can just um, it's okay. everybody give you guys a little in a cup. Come yep. on over here. All right. Oh, my goodness. Mm. How'd that look, guys? Looks it awesome. Wonderful. It tastes even it's, better. Yeah. There, these, this is so good. You know, there are many times in my life that, well, because I don't eat a whole lot, so at nighttime I don't like to eat heavy stuff. So this is a like a go-to meal for me 
just just because it's light and it's not this big heavy you know I, I, I just don't like big heavy meals at night so there's many many times my mom can tell you my kids can tell you that I do breakfast for dinner mm -hmm. because it's just it's it's just lighter and I enjoy it better. so okay so here's the beautiful muffin mm -hmm. okay the banana chocolate muffin yeah. which I'm sure once I taste it will remind me of Disneyland <laughs> I've got good. my white pepper gravy right here, mm -hmm. which looks amazing. I've got some fruit. Fruit is always great for that, breakfast. That's, okay. that's a nice plate, the fruit mm -hmm. with that. The fruit, right. I've got my cup of coffee. And here's my burrito. Wow. Doesn't that look good? Mm -hmm. so it's delicious. Okay, so let's try it. <laughs> She's happy. I think she likes it. it that is delicious. Is delicious. It now, is delicious. I've got my gravy to dip into. You can also have a big fat bowl of salsa. Mm -hmm. And for breakfast burritos and salsa go together beautifully. I could put green chili in here. There's all kinds of things you could have done with this. But mm. you know what, guys? Try this fast, easy, and delicious. Don't be fed up in the kitchen. Just come to fed up and see our beautiful, fast, that easy, is really and delicious, delicious meals. Have a great day. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. It's